हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू मैथ्स क्लास स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डू सम्स रिलेटेड टू चैप्टर फ्रैक्शंस द ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ चैप्टर फ्रैक्शंस आर टाइप्स ऑफ फ्रैक्शंस कन्वर्जन्स सिंपलेस्ट फॉर्म इक्विवेलेंट फ्रैक्शंस कंपैरिजन ऑफ फ्रैक्शंस addition of fractions subtraction of fractions multiplication of fractions reciprocal of fractions and division of fractions before starting the objectives first of all i will discuss with you what is the meaning of fractions and how we can write it let's take some examples to understand the meaning of fractions now students you can see i have drawn four figures now i divided these figures in equal parts circle i have divided in two equal parts square i have divided in four equal parts this circle i have divided in four equal parts and rectangle i have divided in three equal parts now i have shaded some parts of the given figures in circle i have shaded one part in square i have shaded two parts in this circle i have shaded three parts and in this rectangle i have shaded one part now students tell me in this circle how many total parts are there yes total parts are 2 1 and 2 that means total parts are 2 and out of two parts how many parts are shaded one part that means one part is shaded now let's move to the other figure how many total parts are there let's count 1 2 3 and 4 that means total parts are 4 out of four parts how many parts are shaded 1 and 2 that means two parts are shaded now let's move to the next figure see how many total parts are there 1 2 3 and 4 that means total parts are 4 and how many parts are shaded 1 2 and 3 that means three parts are shaded in the next figure how many total parts are there 1 2 and 3 so total parts are 3 and how many parts are shaded 1 now students what are these numbers called these are called fractions so what is a fraction a fraction is a part of a whole it represents one or more equal parts of a whole object now students what is the meaning of whole whole meaning complete figure now 
you can see this is a complete circle full circle and i have divided this circle into two equal parts so a fraction is a part of a whole 1 upon 2 meaning this part let's take an example for example 3 upon 4 students the number above the line is called the numerator and the number below the line is called the denominator denominator tells us the total number of parts and the numerator tells us the number of parts that are taken Let's understand it with the help of figure. Now students, you can see in this figure there are total four parts. That is the denominator. Total parts of whole are denominator. And how many parts are taken? 1, 2 and 3. That is the numerator. Students this line is called division bar or you can simply say upon 3 upon 4 3 over 4 in this way now let's learn how to write fractions in words example number 1 1 upon 2 now students numerator is 1 so we will write here 1 and when 2 will be there in the denominator we will use half word 1 half example number 2 1 upon 3 now students see in the numerator there is 1 so i will write here 1 and when 3 will be there in the denominator we will use word third 1 third next example is 1 upon 7 numerator is 1 so write here 1 for writing 7 we will write here 7 th th 1 7 After writing seven, you will write th at the end. Next example is two upon five. Now, write down numerator as it is. That is two. And for writing five, I will write fifths. F i f t h s fifths. now students you can see i have written here s but in the previous example i have not written s this is why because in the previous example one was there in the numerator so whenever one will be there in the numerator we will not write s and except one if any other number is there like 2 3 4 5 etc so we will use s with the number that is in the denominator 2 fifths next example is 6 upon 8 numerator will remain same 6 for writing 8 we will write 8 h s 8 6 now let's learn how to write a fraction for the given fractional numbers 3 fifths 3 fifths meaning 3 is the numerator so we will write here in the numerator fifths fifths meaning 5 now 
Next example is five sevens. Numerator is five, and denominator is seven. Example number three is two thirds. Two thirds meaning two is the numerator and thirds meaning three. Next is three out of eight. That means total parts are eight and out of eight there are three parts that are taken. So three will become the numerator and eight will become the denominator. Next is two over nine. Now two over nine meaning two is the numerator and nine is the denominator. Next is one fourth. One meaning one and fourth meaning is four. Next is one third. One meaning one and third meaning three. Next is nine out of eleven. Nine is the numerator and eleven is the denominator. So students, today we have learnt the meaning of fractions and how to write a fraction. I hope now you are able to do the related homework that we have sent to you in your snap homework. But students, before starting the homework, please go through the YouTube links that are mentioned in your snap homework. Have a nice day. Thank you.